Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week I posted a video where we took a look at some screenshots I took from a video that the concept creator AR4789 had uploaded to their YouTube channel. And basically, just to do a quick recap, they created a concept idea of what a future version of Windows could look like, calling it Windows 23. And I'll leave a link in the description to that video. Now, once again, as we can see, I've taken some more screenshots from another video that they have uploaded to their YouTube channel. And unlike the previous video, where we had a so-called look into the future of what a possible future version of Windows could look like, um, this video is taking a bit of the past, Windows Vista, and a bit of the present, Windows 11, and combining it into one operating system. And they call, uh, are calling this concept the Windows Vista 2022 edition. So um, I've just taken a couple of screenshots just to go through some key highlights from their full video. And I'll leave that full video of theirs in the description if that would be of interest, as it will just give you a, a, a you know, a better idea as to the concept they have come up with. Now, yeah, we can see that um, past meets present, combining the so-called best of both worlds. And um, we've got the Vista wallpaper, more of a Windows 11 start menu widgets. That's Windows Vista, and I think Vista was ahead of its time when it comes to widgets because that's now what we're getting in Windows 11, the current widgets board. So I think there it was ahead of its time. Yeah, we get um, a profile and an add widgets button that is currently found in the widgets board uh, in Windows 11. Um, this power button seems to be Vista. That's got the old Vista look. And then obviously the start menu button moved from the left of the taskbar to the center to center those icons like it currently is in Windows 11. And um, just on a side note, I don't think um, Vista was actually one of Microsoft's greatest moments, so to speak, when it comes to operating systems. And um, personally, when I did use Vista back in the day, um, I did find it to be quite a sluggish, kind of cluttered operating system. And uh, um, even after tweaking the operating system on numerous devices, um, I still didn't feel it lived up to you know, you know the performance and the con the consumption that you could have got out of the operating system. But nonetheless, and um, that's just my personal kind of overview of Windows Vista. And then um, moving on, um, yeah, we can see a modern day edition of the Windows Vista File Explorer. And yeah, we can see we got the the Windows Vista Aero theme meeting the uh, current Windows 11 Fluent theme and design and um, uh, got some aspects here of what the navigation pane currently looks like uh, in Windows 11. Yeah, we've got something which looks like a workspaces icon in the top left of the File Explorer, which will open different workspaces. And then just moving along, uh, tab support currently found in Windows 11 version 22H2. Quick settings, this looks more like it is currently in Windows 11. And yeah, as mentioned, um, on the system page in their concept idea, they are calling this concept Windows Vista, the 2022 edition Pro. And then just some personalization options. Choose your mode, light, dark, system default. You can change the accent color. So, you know, the, the two worlds kind of meeting you on the personalization page. And then widgets. Clicking on the add widgets will open up the little widgets board here, um, which is more like Windows Vista. And you can add your different widgets to your desktop and you can get more widgets in the Microsoft Store. And then that's the final screenshot dark theme also available. And as mentioned, this is just a concept idea of, of what uh, the Windows Vista operating system could have looked like, possibly looked like, if Microsoft had to continue developing um, Vista into the present day. And as mentioned, um, I will leave their video um, AR4789's complete video in the description as that will just give you a better overview of their concept regarding Windows Vista. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.